Welcome to another lecture on scales. Today we will solve one more problem on plane scale. Let us read the statement first. Construct a plane scale to show kilometers and hectometers when 2.5 cm is equal to 1 km. The scale should be long enough to measure up to 6 km. Mark 2.5 km, 3.9 km and 4.5 km on the scale. So we have to construct a plane scale which can measure up to 6 km. And we know that we cannot draw a line of 6 km on our paper. So first of all, we have to calculate representative fraction in order to find out that by how many times we can reduce this distance in order to accommodate this on our paper. So let us see what is the formula of representative fraction. The formula is length of a line in the drawing divided by actual length of the line on the object. Let us search these two values in the quotient. Over here, he is saying when 2.5 cm is equal to 1 km. So, 1 km is the actual length of the line on object and 2.5 cm is the length of line in the drawing. So, put these values over here. So, 2.5 cm divided by 1 km. Now, next we will convert kilometers into centimeters. And for that, we have to multiply 1 by 10 to the power 5. So over here we have converted kilometers into centimeters. Centimeters will cancel out. Then we will get this answer as 1 by 40,000. So RF is 1 by 40,000. That means we have reduced the size of the drawing by 40,000 times. Of course, we are representing 1 kilometer by 2.5 centimeter only. So, reduction is 40,000 times. So, we got our answer that in order to accommodate this length of 6 km on the paper, we have to first reduce it by 40,000 times and that will be called as length of scale. So, length of scale will be equal to RF multiplied by maximum length of scale. So, RF is 1 by 40,000 multiplied by maximum length of scale which is 6 km. So, convert kilometers into centimeters by multiplying it with 10 to the power 5. Then we will get an answer as 15 centimeters. It means if we will draw a line of 15 centimeters on the paper, that will actually represent 6 kilometers. Now, let us solve this problem. So, first of all, we will draw a line of 15 centimeters. Then we have to decide how many parts we should draw on this length. For this, we have to see what is the maximum length we have to show. In the previous lecture, we made a thumb rule that if the maximum length of the scale is up to 10 or less than 10, then we will make same number of parts. Over here, the maximum length is 6 kilometers, so we will make 6 parts. Now we know that this is the length of 15 centimeter and it is representing 6 kilometers. So when you will divide this by 6, then you will get one part length of 2.5 centimeters and it will represent 1 kilometer. So after this, we will label the markings. We will start from the second point of this scale. We will mark that as 0. Then we know that each part is representing 1 kilometer, so we will label it as 1 kilometer, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we know this is a kilometer scale, so below this we will write kilometers by drawing two guidelines and take the height of letters as 5 millimeters and we will write it in Gothic style. Next we have to decide the number of parts for this length. Now let us see how many parts we can make over here. So the number of parts for this particular part will depend upon what is the next unit I have to show. The next unit is hectometers. But over here this part is representing 1 kilometer. 
so we have to convert this part into hectometer scale so for that you have to see the relation between kilometers and hectometers so let us see what is the relation between these two we know 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers it means if we have to convert this part of 1 kilometer into hectometer scale then we have to make 10 parts over here and the length of this part is 2.5 centimeters so if we will divide it into 10 parts then length of one part will be equal to 2.5 millimeters and that will represent one hectometer so we will make 10 equal parts each part will be of 2.5 millimeters and that will represent one hectometer now we have 10 hectometers over here so this is a hectometer scale so over here we will write 10 and below it we will mention hectometers with the help of guidelines and letter writing then after that we will label the midway marking also then we will complete the body of scale by drawing a line of 1 cm here and another line of 1 cm over here then we will connect these two points with a continuous thick line again and we will draw continuous thick vertical lines from different markings to show the different parts of the scale. Then below this scale we will mention its RF and LOS in Gothic style. Now we will answer the question. The first dimension we have to show as 2.7 km. So 2.7 km means 2 km 7 hectometers. So from 0 to 2 we will pick 2 km leave 1 mm gap continuous thin line which is called as an extension line then 7 hectometers so pick 7th division from 0 this scale is readable towards left so 5th 6th 7th hectometer below it mention 7 then from this point draw extension line by leaving 1 mm gap then from the object line leave 10 mm gap to draw the dimension line and place closed filled arrowheads on both sides and above that dimension line write the value 2.7 now let us label next dimension 3.9 km so 3.9 that means 3 km 9 hectometers from 0 to 3 we will pick 3 km then from 0 to 9th hectometer level 9 below that dimension and from that dimension draw an extension line and from this dimension line leave 10 mm gap to draw the second dimension line draw close filled arrowheads and write the value 3.9 next is 4.5 4.5 means 4 kilometers 5 hectometers from 0 to 4 we will draw an extension line after leaving 1 mm gap then 5th hectometer so from here leave 1 mm gap and draw an extension line then from this dimension line leave again 10 mm gap and draw another dimension line followed by closed filled arrowheads and above that we will mention the value so we are ready with our answer i hope this particular question is clear to you thank you very much